Bruno, another victory in front of another great crowd. How do you and your teammates feel so far? Oh, we're feeling good. Obviously, the results uh, help on that. Uh, obviously, playing, I think, playing good football. Uh, a lot, lot of things to improve yet, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll have time to that and be, and be ready for the first game of the season. And Brian, you were saying you love the way that Bruno and his teammates are playing such attacking football, aggressively pressing and really playing the Man United way that your teams did. You know, what I feel now, Bruno, is that um, you're pressing as a team. Everybody's coming in behind, everybody's up the park. And we're looking as if we're doing it as a team, working well together. But then when we're overturning the ball, we're being a bit more positive, like trying to create uh, with that forward pass. And we've had some lovely movement in these first three games, and we've scored some great goals. Oh, I agree with that. I think that we've been most, most more aggressive now. Uh, even, firstly, the, the three guys up front have been really aggressive. When they press, they press really strong so they makes makes the line the line the last line squeeze make the midfielders come a little bit higher and makes when we recover the ball being closer to the goal too so uh, we are much much fresh to do that we had much freedom also when we recover the ball because we we get the teams and we when we recover they are really wide so loads of spaces in the middle and as you said before we're playing much better on the ball too yeah and to yeah. get your forwards all scoring we've seen a goal for martial again for rashi for Sancho to keep those forward players regularly scoring must be great for their confidence as we approach the Premier League opener. Oh, of course, we all know that everyone wants to score goals, but the main ones has to be the strikers. They know that they have to be there to, to give us goals. Uh, they are doing really well and we have to keep the support uh, on them, trying to make them be, be happy because we know that they live from the goal, so we need to give that to them. And just a final word from you on the fans here. They're all screaming your name. They're desperate uh, to have a picture or something to sign because they love Manchester United here uh, and they love you. So many Bruno Fernandes shirts there. Oh, it's been amazing. The support that they give us to, to us is being, is being top. For me, it's the first tour that I do. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with that. We all appreciate the love that they give to us and uh, we're always trying to give something back, trying to sing, sign some shirts. Obviously, we you know. We never sign all of them, but we try to give to give all the love back too. I don't think you could sign 80,000 shirts in one evening. I think that's a little bit of a tall order. It will be, it will be difficult, but I will try to, to sign the maximum as I can. Great stuff, Bruno. Okay, well, good start for the new kit as well. Yeah, the, the new kit is, is giving is giving something to us, hopefully in the season too. Brilliant stuff, Bruno, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers, Bruno. Yeah, we're now joined by the Manchester United manager, Eric Ten Hag. Eric, again, a good challenge that Crystal Palace offered you. We're not going to get carried away, but three victories in the three games and your team are playing the Manchester United way. It's fantastic for the fans to watch. I think it's pre-season and we are happy uh, with the um, improvement we see. But you see also there's a lot of work to do. And, but yeah, we scored some wonderful uh, goals and that's also true. And Robbo, you were saying how much you were enjoying watching Eric's team pressing so high and being very aggressive. Yeah, I just feel that we're going together as a team and they're coming in behind, so we're getting higher up the park. So when we win the ball, we're in quite dangerous positions where we look as if we can score. I, yeah. I agree. And that is also the demand on the team. We press, and we press all day. And if we can, we do that high on the pitch. But if we, uh, we can't, we have to, uh, to do that in a lower block. But also we have to press and we have to do together as a team. Yeah. Where do you feel that we can still improve a bit more? To the timing, uh, when you start to press, for instance, um, I see still uh, switches uh, who, uh, who we can avoid and then we can prepare better press. And I think also on the ball, um, yeah, uh, we play well. But you see, in the end, when it's 2-3-0 up, then the belief is increasing. And then also on the ball, we can delay and we can postpone and we can invite opponents so that they come out and then speed up. And I think uh, especially uh, the 2 0 uh, was a great goal. Yeah, you scored some beautiful goals. Your forward players are all finding um, the back of the net. How important is it that they maintain this as we progress through the pre-season and into the Premier League opener? I hope we can, uh, we can convince them they do a lot of work, a lot of running. And you see often uh, with offence players yeah, that they miss then 
that is what they think. Uh, the, in the offense, the energy. But you see, uh, they put a lot of energy in the defense and they get rewarded by scoring goals because, uh, how uh, Brian uh, tell, we're winning balls high on the pitch and no opponent likes to get be on the press um, in the defending line. And I think it's a big advantage when you can do that, but you need the whole team. Finally, Eric, some upsetting news reached all of us earlier today that one of your former players, Sebastian Haller, had to leave the Borussia Dortmund training camp early because of a serious medical condition. Um, your thoughts for him? Yeah, it's horrible. Um, I have a, a fantastic relation with him. It is my friend. It is my striker uh, in several years uh, with Utrecht and, and Ajax. And when you heard such news, it's devastating. And my thoughts are with him, with his family, and um, I hope he will recover quickly. Yeah, and we echo that at Manchester United. Everybody at the club hopes he is well and wishes him uh, a speedy recovery. Thank you very much, Eric.